Hey everybody, James Holst here with In-Depth Outdoors. It's giveaway time. We've got a heck of a prize here today for everyone. We're giving away with Eskimo uh, a 2800 Escape. That's the side entry door ice house that's new this season for the Eskimo brand. Uh, we've been using it this winter. We love it. Uh, never going back to that front entry door on an ice house ever again. Uh, to get entered, all you need to do is go to our homepage, indepthoutdoors.com. Look for the giveaway icon. It's going to be right there. Click on it. It, enter your information and you're in the drawing to win this fantastic prize. Now, make sure you let your friends know that this giveaway is running. If you don't walk away with it, they might as well. Maybe they'll take you ice fishing. And now here at the end of the video, what we're gonna do is, if you're not familiar with the Eskimo 2800 Escape, we're gonna walk you through the finer points. We think it's one of the nicer ice houses out there on the market today, so thanks for watching. When it comes time to pick an, a flip over ice shelter, there's so many options out there. It can be a little bit confusing uh, how to pick one model or one manufacturer over the other. And I'll start with saying nobody's making a bad ice house these days. Uh, they're not inexpensive purchases and manufacturers are doing their level best to put out a good product. So the key to picking the right house for you is finding the ice house that offers the features that match with your expectations and the way you fish. So this is the new 2800 Escape from Eskimo. High quality house has the side entry doors. I love them. Uh, it would be really hard for me to go back to an ice house that had the door out the front. So if you're looking for a side entry, this is a really good one. The fabric, the shell on this house, it's a durable, uh, heavy weight insulated shell, really holds the warmth in nice. But what I wanna do is really get into the little features, the nuances that I think set this ice house apart and uh, should put it at the top of your short list when it comes time to making a purchase decision on a new flip over. So we're gonna start right over here. Uh, one of the things I love about this house is we've got the 360 skirt all the way around the house. Why does that matter? Well, most ice houses, it would cut in right here at the front slope part of the sled. If you don't have a lot of snow on the ice to bank with, if you've got a wind, it just cuts right through there. Uh, Eskimo has this 360 skirt on their houses. They've got this cool little cutout system that goes around the hitch. You can seal the entire house around, keeps the wind out in those conditions when you just might not have snow to bank. Uh, next thing out here I wanna point out is the no trip door. Um, I'm a careful guy out there on the ice, but no matter how hard I try over the course of a winter uh, with the uh, ice house with the taller door, once or twice going in or going out, I was taking a digger. I just wouldn't raise that foot uh, high enough. With this ice house, it's a lot less likely that that's gonna happen. So with that said, let's get inside the house. We can talk in detail about some of the features that I think make this one of the nicest ice houses out there right now. So here we are inside the 2800 Escape. And I uh, just wanted to, you know, everything's high quality. The fit and finish is real nice. Uh, up here, one of the things that I wanna point out first is the way the windows are sealed. If you do any kind of sight fishing and the windows are closed with just Velcro, they uh, bulge out and there's a lot of light spillage inside the house. Being able to zip from top to bottom ensures that you just absolutely eliminate all light inside the house. I think that's really cool. And of course, they've got the Velcro in, Velcro out windows that make replacement really easy if you should cut one or burn one somehow. So, moving on. One of the things that I really like about the Eskimos is what they do with their seating. This seat, to me, is by far the most comfortable. I love the fact that it's got an all steel frame. I love to lean back into my seat. You're not gonna have issues with the hinges like you will on a boat seat. Everything's steel, it slides nice and smoothly in and out and side to side so you can get that just that perfect position for you. And uh, one of the things I really like about the attention to detail with this house is who hasn't gone to get something out of the tub of their ice house and balanced the seat on their head while they were fishing around in there. Eskimos come out with just this really simple strap system that attaches to the vertical bar here at the ceiling. What that allows you to do is get that seat up and out of the way, get into anything that you want up there in the tub without having to do that balancing act with your noggin. Uh, other things that really set this house apart is uh, if you've ever fished multiple days in a row, which I'm sure most have, uh, the poles and the supports get left in the bottom of the ice house. And there's that melt and then refreeze. And very often those poles, you can't extend them. You can't turn any of the nuts or lock them in place. 
Eskimos come out with a support system that holds them at the back of the house securely, keeps them up off the bottom so they're not freezing. So one of the next things I want to point out is the push button system on the poles. Um, my opinion, these houses, don't matter who you buy them from, they're way too expensive to use those little silver buttons where you have to shove your half frozen finger into the hole to get the button to release. These little black tabs, you push it in, it gives you a lot more leverage and then it's just a lot easier on your hands. You can do it with a, with a gloved hand. So uh, I love these, have had no issues with them whatsoever. So uh, with that covered on the interior, I wanna step outside and talk about covers. So as we come out of the house, I wanna to get to a place here where we can talk covers. So obviously the filming of the In-Depth Outdoors TV show, we cover a lot of miles out there on the lake and the quality of the cover is a big deal to us. Um, some companies don't pay that much attention to it. The covers are really light and they don't seal well around the ice house. The cover on the Eskimos is incredibly heavy. I can put like a ball of slush on top of these covers and they're waterproof for enough time to where it can sit there all day long and it won't drip down into my ice house. I really appreciate that. But the best thing about these covers is how you can draw them tightly around the ice house to keep the snow and slush out of the house when you're running down the, the on the lake in a snowmobile. It's got a simple draw strap right here that allows an angler to really lock that thing down. You can get it to the point where it's almost impossible for anything to fall out. And the way this locks underneath this lip does a great job of keeping all that fine powder snow outside of your ice house. If you see a ice house running down the lake and the cover's doing this flapping all over the place, chances are when they get to destination, that ice house is gonna be full of powder snow and that's not what I want to have happen to my gear. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the durability of the sled itself. That's the uh, gray portion down here that takes a lot of wear and tear. And of course, you don't wanna invest all that money into a great shelter only to have the base fall apart. And I just happen to have a tub over here that we've been using for the last winter and a half. It's got about a thousand miles on it. And uh, we'll take a look and you can see how well it's faring. So this is the ice house that we use to haul all of our camera gear around out there on the lake. Uh, it's taken a lot of abuse and typically in the past, uh, I've expected to get three years out of a tub like this from any manufacturer I've tried. Uh, after that third year, they're worn through. This ice house is on its second year. We've got over a thousand lake miles on it already. We did a couple hundred miles with it last week up on Lake of the Woods. It's scratched, it's dented, but uh, there's no signs of thin spots or that this sled is in any way inferior. Uh, Eskimo does use roto molded sleds under their Escape and Grizzly series. I've been super happy with them and I've actually uh, refrained from putting high facts on this one uh, just to see how long it'll last. So if it makes it into its third year without failure, uh, that will prove to me that this is a really high quality sled that all the Eskimo ice houses sit on top of. So, you know, just keep these simple ideas in mind. These are just some features, uh, some refinements that really set the Eskimos apart for me. I love the way I fish in them. Uh, run them past your filter and see if they're important to you. If they are, definitely keep the Eskimo line of ice houses, that Grizzly and the new Escape series at the top of your list the next time you're looking for a flip over shelter.